Oh, well, good morning. Right off the bat, I wanted to go to Home Depot and set up these rollerblade skate shoes, uh, but this is going on. How are there this many people who enjoy being around this many people? And this right here goes on for miles and miles. And I wanna go to a skate shop to finally set up a cruiser board since mine was stolen not too long ago, and I need one, so I need new trucks, wheels, the whole shebang just to get this board set up but I need to make it to Venice Beach. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I don't wanna take my camera inside because I don't wanna awkward the crap out of everyone, but I'm at Arbor Skate Shop, which is the skate shop Garrett Jenner rides for, so I gotta support the local homie sponsors. I'll be back with the stuff. I was having trouble deciding on a cruiser board, so the man himself let me take out two different ones to test out in the streets. Been riding around for a little bit. This is one of them. It's got a surfboard type design. It's flatter on top too, and I love how everything sort of works together. I think it's super pretty. This is really tough. And here's the other one. This one has the clear grid tape on top as well. It's a lot wider. It's more of an old school design. And both of them have these indentions out so that when you turn, you don't get wheel bite and die when the wheels rub against the wood. As you can see, this one has a way bigger nose, so you can actually do tricks on this. So you can take this to skateboard. So you can do kind of the same things that you can do on a normal skateboard. With this one, you can't, but it just looks so cool. But it feels so good to be able to ride on rough concrete again. But I'm having so much trouble deciding. So I'm going with both of them. Quick disclaimer, I ride for Revive Skateboards, the best skateboard company on the planet, but they specialize in popsicle decks for street skateboarding. So that's what I do all my tricks on, that's when I go out street skating or skateboards. I, I usually just mess with popsicle shaped skateboards, but I needed something different for cruising, I needed bigger wheels, I wanted a different shape, and that's why I went with this skate shop, whatever they had in there. Revive Skateboards is the best, always. Just my cruiser boards just happen not to be revived boards. We're gonna start off cruising with this one because with skateboard tricks, it's a little limited, but that might serve some purpose on its own. So I'm gonna ride around here and just kind of explore what it's like to go fast and kind of aggressive with a board that uh, I don't fully understand. <laughs> I'm riding on this one right now, but I'm not gonna do a full on like showing what it's capable of and, and, and riding it around until a little bit later because right now I have to get some work done on my computer and I definitely want to find a new location for that. We're gonna actually do flip tricks a little worn out. Just a different space for more tricks and maybe more obstacles to see what it's actually capable of. I will say right now the trucks are incredibly tight. <laughs> what well, was about 12 seconds to you it was about three hours to me. Not 100% sure if you saw the video that I made the other day. It has been really, really hectic. Uh, other than the YouTube itself, which is which is pretty much a full-time job. But I went on this whole tangent about how stressed out I was, how many things in my life were going on simultaneously, and how I was sort of reacting to everything happening. And how different my mind is today compared to how it was that day, and sort of what the creative process is like. I think this is pretty universal, but for me there are three extreme levels of emotions. There's the initial excitement of starting any project, and then there is the horrible turmoil you go through when you start the project and realize how long you have left. And then there's the excitement that I feel today and the ending excitement of seeing your product about to form into what it is. And then in the same category, I would put the excitement 
that you feel from the world seeing your final project. Now time to test board number two. The main difference is that this board has trick capability. So when it comes to all the cruising, you've already seen what both of them are capable of. This one can do all the same cruising the last board can do, but I want to really test out the flip trick capability. It's definitely gonna be a little more difficult than a standard popsicle shaped skateboard because obviously it's a different shape that I'm not used to and the wheels are a little bit bigger. So the time from this nose hitting the ground compared to a normal skateboard is a little bit longer. So the timing is a little different. All right. different for me to skate this board compared to my normal skateboard, but it is totally worth it to have the big wheel so that I can ride on rough terrain. So if I'm going to the grocery store, running a quick errand, the cruiser board is ideal. If you happen to be shopping for a cruiser board, just keep in mind that a bigger nose, you can do tricks. With a bigger tail, you can do tricks. And without those, you can just cruise. And a lot of people buy these boards specifically just for cruising, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think the best board for doing tricks and ollieing high and grinding rails, etc is just the normal popsicle shape. It is cool though that with these boards you are able to do tricks. It's just a lot different. I wanted to pop in real quick to say that we found a box of these shirts, the gray prototype tees. Just wanted to let you guys know there's some smalls, there are some larges and some extra larges, and there's like one medium left. If you guys want the shirt, you can go get that uh, right now. And also the next line, that's what I've been doing all day when I was talking about it's early, so I'm not really saying words correctly. When I was talking about seeing the end, I was basically talking about the next spring summer line is uh, is pretty much designed and sent in. So those are coming soon. I'm really excited about that, but I just wanted to, uh, I was just talking to Josh who works on Progress Daily and he was like, yeah, we have a box like with, with some gray shirts in it. So what's up? I'm also working on a new website because that website looks like poop got pooped on. Also wanted to mention this comment I got from Mr. Scorpion 7602. What's up? He said, I just want to tell you, John, that I watch all of your videos and enjoy your content. You are a very positive person and a great skater. Keep up the good work, man. Um, Thank you. This is sort of a strange thing, but I've been reacting differently to hate comments lately. I don't get them, I think, as often. I think the more you do YouTube, the easier it is to act genuine or act more like yourself. And I think people can see that. It's very transparent when you're putting on too much of a front and people are like, yo, come on now. But at the same time, I've had friends react very harshly to negativity. I have friends who are online all the time and sometimes they'll talk to me and be like, yo, like this happened, tripped me out the whole day, I was bothered. I'm just not as insecure about a lot of things as I used to be, so it's kind of hard to really affect me in a negative way with like hate comments. I also understand the psychology behind hating and I know the difference between criticism and hate and criticism will affect me more than a hate comment. If someone says something that I know to be true, then yeah, it makes me like, ah, oh, but I know to work on that situation and overall I'm thankful. If someone uses words calling names, like if I see an insult on someone's videos and they say, you're a douchebag, stupid, words, etc., then it's hard for me to give them credibility. I see that as their biasy that's clearly personal for them. I just like people who can sit back and assess a situation rather than get emotionally stirred up and react. And on top of these hate comments, there's so many nice comments on all of my friends' videos, especially mine, where literally maybe one negative comment out of 120 positive comments. It doesn't really make sense to look at a hate comment and let that significantly impact you more than any positive comment. One positive comment should automatically trump the negative one, especially when you have 100 positive ones. It's amazing. Anyways, I think I'm gonna randomly share the positive ones because it's just so like, at the end of the day, people like that deserve more recognition. People who put out positive comments in this world because obviously the world needs as much positivity as possible or people who are at least empathetic towards um, actually not towards anything. People who are just empathetic. Back to you, John. Anyways, dudes, I am tired and I'm pretty sure we filmed a lot today. I had such a good time. Dude, these freaking last couple of days, the skateboarding involved and everything and just like focusing on nothing but my YouTube channel has been the best. It's been so freaking fun just coming up with an idea in the morning and just utilizing the day according to the idea. Tune in tomorrow and every day because tomorrow I specifically have an idea that I think you guys will find very entertaining. But if you're new to my channel, I make videos every single 
day and I try to make them uh, about what this was at least if not more ridiculous like tomorrow's video and it's been so real if you're someone who watches my videos consistently and you haven't subscribed yet yo subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot and also you can hit the bell under the video to be extra notified when a video gets uploaded so every time I do you will be the first to know 100% and if you haven't liked these videos smash the like button help a brother out help push this content because it's been so much fun lately and I'm so stoked on the people out there who have been excited to see me grow it means a lot so on that note I'll see you tomorrow for another video love you so much progress daily and keep killing it I wanna be your body.